Hello and welcome back everyone. In this short tutorial video we'll be looking at uh, Door Pickers 2, Task Force North and looking in the editor in particular looking at uh, triggers that we have here. Okay, if you look in the menu up at the top where it's got triggers, you have a trigger here. They're quite unique, some of these triggers. And they will change a few parameters as you do it. To enable is fine. You can have a trigger enabled uh, by another trigger if you wanted it to. You'd have this disabled just by clicking it. But I tend to leave it enabled so that it actually fires when I need it to. So for example, if we wanted to say if alarm sounded, we can do that. Or if a good guy enters the area, it will then change this. The parameter will change so that you can actually expand. Expand it. So, so if we were to say that if the AI or the your player, your operator was to enter this area, this will trigger something off. The best way to trigger this is by going to humans, scrolling them all the way down to waypoint. Let's put in behind this little screen here. And this. Well, then what we need to do is actually link this trigger to this waypoint and as you can see what will actually happen the trigger will have these um, particular window open up and let's say walk and then you can actually generate what appears if the person triggers that particular trigger off and let's just do something like this change the number here you can change it to two so what will happen is the actual AI will generate in this spot you could actually have this anywhere and that's where it will generate and then it will follow the waypoint that you've set out for it so I've got this to center area that is fine I've also got some other area some other triggers that fire off other things like a um, red light will appear on here let's see if I can go ahead. there you go so it's just disabled at the moment, but the trigger will actually trigger it off. You can find out which trigger it is that does it. It was a trigger that I created, it triggered that, but not to worry. I know it works. And it also, this sound is also triggered by combat starting. So what we can do, we just save this first. It's important to do that. And then, let's run it. I've already preset these guys out. What we can do is do this. I know the trigger is around here somewhere. Let's make him run. We'll see what happens. Along here I put a field of vision restrictor basically modifier so that they can't see beyond this point. And there we go. Other triggers already been triggered. You can hear the sound is going off. The only thing that hasn't triggered is the flashing light. That's, there you go, these guys are just appearing. Let's move this guy up and see what happens. Ooh. We'll get rid of this guy. It looks like the triggers do work. Um, okay, I hope you have fun playing with these triggers. The best to do is just experiment and see how it goes. If you get any problems or you want to comment me, just do so. And I'll try and help you as much as I can. And take care. And stay safe. Bye.